guys, it's Bella, and as you guys can tell from the title, this video is going to be DIY Halloween costumes for your doll. And I hope you guys are actually really, really excited for this video. I put a little bit of effort into it. Well, I, mean, I always put effort in my videos, but I put a lot of effort into this video, and I worked really hard on it, and I hope you guys like it. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first costume is going to be a ballerina, and it is super simple. So here is what you're going to need, slash what you're going to need to do to make it. So first off, you're going to take whatever doll you, you're using for the costume, and then you're just going to put her hair up into a bun, and try to make it neat. I know this bun's a little bit messy, but it's honestly like the best bun I've ever made on a doll, so, you know, just, just go with it. And then you're going to need some type of like pink shirt or like leotard thing if you guys have one. I would just go with like a pink shirt or like a pink tank top, or even a white tank top, but I had this one from the ballet set, so that'll work. And then for the ballet skirt, you can use Mary Ellen's crinoline, or you guys can just use like whatever pink ballet skirt you guys have for your dolls, or just any pink skirt. Or you guys can make a DIY tutu, and I'm not really sure how to make that, but I will link a tutorial down below. So here's the completed look. I think it looks really adorable, and it really does fit with the ballerina. And if you guys are looking for Halloween costume, this is really cheap and really easy. So the next costume is a Cinderella costume, and here's what you're going to need. So first off, you're just going to want to put her hair up into a bun and try to make it look neat so then it looks like Cinderella. Mine was kind of a little sloppy, but I still think it looks good, so yeah. And then for Cinderella's dress, just take a blue dress. I have this one from Caroline's collection. I'm not really sure what it's called. I think it's like her ball gown dress or whatever. But I thought it looked like Cinderella, so that's why I'm using it. But if you guys do not have this, I have another blue dress that you guys can use. And this one is from like Rebecca's collection. But basically, you guys can just use whatever blue dress you have. And here's the finished look. I think it looks a lot like Cinderella, so I think it's a great costume for your dolls. Okay, so this next costume is going to be a prom queen, and I like this one. It involves a little bit of DIY, but it looks cool, so I like it. First off, you're just going to need a dress and kind of make sure it looks like fancy so like you would wear it to prom. Uh, I got this one at the benefit sale. I'm not sure who made it. And at the end of the sash, you're just going to want to take a piece of ribbon and like tie it together, I guess. So then it's like a circle. And then you're just going to want to write prom queen on it. Uh, I kind of did a lazy job. My handwriting's not that nice and writing a ribbon is actually kind of hard. I just wrote it on a sharpie. And then once you're done doing that, just put it around the doll like a sash and there you go you got your doll sash for prom and then for her crown i just took this ag crown i already had you guys can like print one out or whatever i just put it together really simple um and i just put it on her head and voila you have a doll crown and then you have your full costume i think it looks really nice and yeah Okay, so this costume actually involves a little bit more of a DIY than the other ones. And this one is a cat costume. It's quite classic, but I like it. Okay, so for her clothes, you're just going to need anything black. And so here I have these black pants from Sage's set. I'm not really sure what it's called. I'll put it up on the screen. But it is retired, so just know that. And then if you happen to not have a black shirt, then here's the DIY. You're just going to need to take these leggings that come with like every AG historical Be Forever outfit. And it's actually really simple. You're going to fold it inside out. And then you're going to cut a little like slit about where the neck is going to go. And it's kind of like in the middle of the pants. I show you on here. And you're just going to cut that out so then you have your neck hole. Okay, so now you're going to go to the foothole of like the pants. And you're going to cut it off at however long you want the sleeve to be. I like mine long sleeved so I cut it like closer to the foot. But you guys can do it however long you like. And then just do that on both sides. And then if you turn it the right way around again, then you have your shirt. You're just going to put it on your doll through the legs, not through the head. And then you just put it on, slide the arms in, and it looks really good. Um, it's a crop top, so just warning you guys of that. And then just take some doll-sized cat ears, or just take a headband you have, and take like some pipe cleaners and make some cat ears of that. And then you're done. 